So you're writing down your jokes, you're practicing them at home, you're practicing them, you're observing yourself, you're thinking, all right, I think I got it. I think I got a set. I think I'm ready. All right, go on over to the aforementioned open mics. Bring a little support. If you don't have any support, call me. I'll be there for you. All right, so we're at the mic. You got your jokes. You're sweating. You're nervous. Don't be, baby. You're going to sign up. You're going to find the host of the show, and you're going to sign up. You're going to wait for your turn. As you wait, you will take your little shot, or you take your little puff, or you do your little dance, get the wiggles out, whatever you got to do. Do it. You observe all the open micers, all the people that signed up before you. Observe them. Hear them. Check out the audience. Be like, what are they responding to? Okay. And then do a little crunch of your set. Choose the jokes that you think are going to work for this audience. And you know what? There's no shame using your notes, your little papers, your little phone. There's no shame in that. You're starting out. You're new. Everyone takes notes when they're starting something new. There's no shame. Look on it. Don't take too long, though, on the stage. Remember, you got a limited amount of time. So do it quick. What I do is I write just key words, not the whole joke. You got to just select a key word to remind you of what joke is next. And you know what? To be honest, sometimes I still write it on my hand. 11 years I've been doing this and I have the memory of an egg. So I gotta write shit down on my hand sometimes. And sometimes I wake up with my jokes on my face. That's okay. But you know what? You're doing it. You're doing what you gotta do. And eventually the notes will fall away. You'll remember everything. You'll get It'll be like breathing where you're like, I know all of my jokes like the back of my hand because I wrote them there or not. Hopefully not. The more you do your sets, the more mics you do, the better it comes to you. Sometimes you'll even be on stage and just think of shit and it'll hit better than anything you prepared with. Sometimes you get hecklers and they say something and you say something back and you're like, damn, that's good. Remember it. And write it down after you get off the stage so you can remember, yeah, that shit hit. Killed, right? And you're gonna fuck up. You're gonna eat a bag of dicks. That's what they call it. You're gonna eat a bag of dicks sometimes. That's when you suck. And that's all right. You're gonna suck sometimes. Nobody's good at it right away. You gotta get a feel for the thing. Sometimes you're gonna, nobody's gonna laugh at your jokes. Sometimes maybe you might get booed off the stage. Hopefully not. But you know what? Life goes on. Just uh, continue working on your jokes. Continue on your presence. Speak loudly into the microphone. That was my biggest problem for the longest time. And when you get on stage, you take that microphone off the stand and you hold it and you put the stand away from you. You are the star of the show. Not the microphone stand. Use the microphone stand as a tool. Some comedians do that. Use the stool as a tool. For some reason, comedians like to fuck the stool. They like to uh, act out acts of fornication on the stool. And that's fine. It's, it works. If it works for you, do it. Try it. I haven't tried it yet. Maybe I should. But uh, just have fun. Have fun doing it. Go in with an open mind. Stay positive. It is hard. Most comics that I've met go home feeling alone. It's hard. It's weird. It's a weird feeling. I mean, some of the greatest comedians are depressed. And you're going to see it a lot, too. There's been unless self-exiting in this industry happens often happens it happens so you need to also take care of your mind work on your comedy take care of your mind stay lighthearted. stay humble practice keep writing any experience that brings you any kind of chuckle or laugh you need to write that shit down you need to write it down and you need to use it as a joke almost anything could be funny anything in life can be funny everything just try to make it funny you gotta find the funny in everything you gotta find the humor in everything comedic relief that's what the world needs and you can bring it you might be the next best thing i'm telling you just go check out more comedy shows follow the pages that i told you to write your jokes practice 
record yourself, start building an audience, ask, follow other comedians, other local comedians, famous comedians, watch their things, watch comedy specials on Netflix and Hulu or whatever. Watch every, just intake everything you can to learn and absorb. But that's all the advice that I have. Those are my tips and opinions and tricks. I do certainly hope that it works out for you. Keep your head up, ladies. Don't get pregnant. That was, I was, uh, so when I first started, I was going up and I was going up the, the mountain of comedy and doing really great and I went in and I got pregnant and kind of had to put a hold on it forever could have uh, probably been in a I don't want to say better my comedy career was put on hold basically at like the peak don't get me wrong being pregnant didn't stop me I used the pregnancy as a joke maker but then after the pregnancy it's like you get a baby that you gotta take care of and now you can't go to as many shows and opportunities have slowed so ladies don't do what i did and have a baby in the middle of it don't do that but yeah keep your head up keep doing your shows keep trying your best if you need support reach out to me i'll let you know what i know if you got any questions or concerns or need any advice from a lady who's been doing this who started doing this about 11 years ago reach out and i shall lend you my ears and advice any other advice or whatever but yeah guys that was the episode for today is just a, a little ted talk on just little advice and opinions for anyone who keeps saying i want to try it i want to try it but i don't know where to start i don't know if I can, you can. I was described at, like all my life as a really awkward, shy girl. If I, if that little girl can get over her shyness and just let the character that I've made just completely take over on the stage, you could do it too. Get over it. Get over your shyness. You're thinking too deeply about it. You want them to laugh at you. That's what's going on. That's the goal. You want them to laugh. So you got to try it and you got to do it and you got to put yourself out there. That's all. But if, if you do try it out, let me know. I want to know how your first open mic went. And uh, hopefully I'll see you out in the comedy scene. It's growing and you could be a part of it. Easy. You just got to go. You just got to show up. You just got to do it. You just got to write the jokes and you got to get on. You got to grab that microphone. And you gotta say, I am a new comedian and I'm gonna make you fucking laugh. Okay? What's up, El Paso? Comedy? <laughs> you could do it. I have faith in you. I have faith in you. Well, that's enough for this episode. It's a short episode, but that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys have yourself a lovely weekend. Have a comedy show tomorrow. Love Buzz. It's Jenny Robbins birthday show with uh, a bunch of cool comedians. It's going to be great. I hope you can make it. We're going to be having fun celebrating Jenny Robbins, her birthday, and El Paso comedy. You guys don't want to miss it. Come check out that show and learn. Go and learn. Okay? And then sign up for those open mics. Okay? sign up for some open mics all right guys this has been another episode of the lonely pod i hope you have yourself a good weekend thanks for listening and uh go ahead and please click subscribe if you haven't already we've gained more subscribers hello new subscribers we went from 49 to 51 we're over the 50 mark so that's something to be happy about all right guys have a good one i'm your host league and I. See you next time on The Lonely Pod. Yeah.